Good morning everyone, this is Ruth Mishuna Buan, your senior vlogger. I tackle all possible issues of today and even that of yesterday and tomorrow as long as it is worth knowing and sharing. If you did not subscribe to this channel yet, please do subscribe now and click the bell button to keep updated of new videos in case I cannot send the link promptly. Like or you may send a comment or message as I gladly acknowledge and welcome all sort of interest. Mother, Mama, Muma, Mommy or just plain Mom are just some of the names for the woman in our lives. In the Philippines, we addressed our mother as Nanay, Ina, 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 Mama, Mamang, which means the woman that raised and loved us unconditionally forever and always. Our mothers endured the good, the bad, and the ugly in us. Our mother always hands out hugs and kisses, no matter what. There are mothers who seem tough, but mind you, in her heart and mind is the softness of feeling. They can be the mother who has given birth and has the responsibility to take care of their children. Yet, more than a responsibility is the feeling that no one can explain towards her children. In her heart and mind, children comes first. She always wanted her children to grow up to be happy, healthy, and successful adults. Mothers always pay attention to her children's particular nature and respond to the specific needs of each child. Only a mother can accept a child for who he is and could forgive even the greatest mistake. A mother contributes her whole life for the betterment of her family. She tries to maintain peace in the family by creating a sense of togetherness and providing unconditional love to the family. A mother provides life, support, care, and affection, especially on the growing children. Do you know that mothers are one of the first indication of the sovereignty of God in our lives? Mothers teach us to have confidence and believe in ourselves. Mothers knew from experience how important for people to believe in themselves in order for children to be whole, strong, and grow with a healthy outlook to oneself. The Holy Bible consistently asked us to honor and love our mothers. Example is seen in Exodus 20 verse 12 that says honor thy father and mother and in leviticus 19 verse 3 every one of you shall revere his mother and his father today is mother's day happy happy mother's day to all our moms the most special and important person in every child a mother is a friend a parent guide and teacher she takes care of the entire family and turns a house into a beautiful home. She brings up her children with utmost care, compassion, and love. Illuminates every home with her presence, a smile, and laughter. A good mother strives to be the best she can be. Along her journey of motherhood, she makes mistakes. She admits them. Then she dusts it off and tries again. A good mother is selfless, yet recognizes that she needs a me time to take care of herself and her family. A mother's love is extremely important for the healthy emotional outcome of her children's well-being. In most cases, it is the mom who is the primary caregiver and how she loves her children greatly affects their lives. Happy Mother's Day to all mothers out there. May God bless us with extra strength to continually love and take care of our children endlessly. This has been Ruth Mishon Abuan, your senior vlogger, a friend, and a proud mother of three.